Oh, hello. Good morning. We hope that you're all doing great uh, so far. Thanks to my Peter CBD for the news and, of course, Kujie Yang Singh for the morning message. Now we can settle down and do the newspapers. Ben? What's up? Go purge yourself. I should watch. <laughs> <laughs> I should go with it. <laughs> go purge myself. <laughs> You are, you are treading a very uh, slippery slope. This, just, this is, just, just, this just is a headline that I'm reading. I only added your name to the headline. Anyway, and when you're told to go purge yourself, <laughs> did you see the speed? <laughs> Charlie, Nippon Seshi. Uh, Nippon Seshi. No, who, who was like it that, that apart from, um, was it Black, Black apart Rasta? From apart from Black Rasta before, you know. That was Parliament. Parliament. Yeah. And... Others who have had to come before the court and all of that, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, they are sizeless. <laughs> You'll be reduced to size. I think one of the things, and, and sometimes we talk, but there, we know. We know. Because the moment you're called, you realize that you've been reduced. I mean, you don't even have to get there. Look, the minute you earn the title <laughs> contemnor, contemnor, where you are going now, ah. it's either you, you humble yourself or, you know, you may believe in what you're saying, but once the court feels aggrieved and a contempt, you know, issue is being brought. But part of it being that he's a former deputy attorney general. And, you know, they took issue with him on that bit that supposedly he should have known better even going back to talk about what some of the other lawyers had been doing, with the court had complained about. So, I, but I think he did the, the right thing, and I, I am glad he did it for the sake of peace. And who would want to see a former deputy AG, I mean, having to be fined or having to face certain other charges anyway? You know, the other thing, well, two things I have on this issue of uh, Dr. Dominic Ayeni. One is, so it's not just any kind of comments that can get the, the judges upset. It's when you, when you scandalize the court with your comments. That's, That's they wanted to, What exactly they wanted scandalizing to make it, the court? <laughs> really. Well, so I, I kind of feel like there are certain people, and I guess that's what the court was also trying to say yesterday. There are certain people they should know. You know, we can make the mistakes because we're ordinary persons. We're not learned like they are. Uh, and they are senior persons at the bar for that matter. So they are not expected to go down that lane. But the other thing that I want to say about Dr. Dominic Ayeni that I admire is the fact that, you know, he's a sitting member of parliament and he didn't complicate the matters by saying, go through the speaker before you can reach me, because that would have been another tongue. You know, no, because think, this is think, the judiciary it's only, it's and this only is Parliament, the legislature. In, in his own interest, because I feel if he had gone down that road, then the court would feel, okay, you want to play hardball. Let's yeah. do this. Yeah, so let's do it. I mean, it's two one, can, two can play it's one arm game. against, it's one yeah. arm against the, I, the other. I, I, let's, I totally let's do it. I, I don't think any <laughs> lawyer in that position would really want to do that. Because in the end the court very likely would get what it wants. And when it does get what it wants, then there will be no, no opportunity to come and... You know, I feel treat. you. That's why I admire him, because he didn't complicate the matters, mm. and it ended here. And after that, I mean, the apology, the retraction yeah. was rendered. So Something else I really like, you notice is that the other lawyers, even from the other side, sort of came together on this bit. It was a colleague lawyer. It wasn't about... Uh, you are the petitioner and we are the respondents, so hey, you can go and hang. And, and that's what it's supposed to be. Among lawyers, that's, that's the way it's supposed most to be. Most of them are actually mates. I actually got an old picture of Justin Amenuvo and Dr. Uh, Dominic <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, listen, we've got plenty of other stories to tell you, so let's do the newspapers. Uh, I'll start with the Daily Graphic newspaper. Here's on the front page. Go purge yourself, Supreme Court orders. I was just ordering Ben to go and purge himself. Uh, COVID the question would be, of what? <laughs> COVID-19 vaccine safe, effective, FDA assures public. Kwabenya Traditional Council threatens to ban down LGBTQI meeting place. 3,000 or 300,000 small businesses received government stimulus uh, by way of Headlines, that's what you find on the front page of the paper in the center spread. Say no to homosexuality. That's a call by the clerk of 
the General Assembly Council of my church, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Reverend Dr. Godwin Need Noy Odonko. He's added his voice to calls on the government not to legalize same-sex marriage in the country. Also acquire COVID-19 vaccines with tax revenue. That's a, a management consultant, Mr. Ishmael Yamsen. He's entreated the government not to depend solely on donors and bilateral and multilateral benevolence for vaccines to protect the citizens against COVID-19. Uh, he says that the resources to fund the procurement and development of the first consignment of COVID-19 vaccines must come from domestic sources and not borrowed funds. Uh, also, the Ghana Institution of Surveyors has uh, commended the government for the efforts it is making to advance the cause of national development. More of it in the center spread and on the back page. An industrial gas producing firm, Takradi Gas, has installed an automated medical oxygen supply unit at the COVID-19 treatment center at the Efiankwanta Regional Hospital in the Secondi Takradi Metropolis. Story by, uh, filed by my good friend and senior, Duchi Kobla Akolobotu in second day, Takrade. Uh, also here, the police in the Ashanti region have arrested five out of ten suspected armed robbers who in January this year attacked a bullion van belonging to the Delta Security Company at Fomina in the Ashanti region. More of that on the back page of the paper. Ben? Right. Uh, just because you brought up the LGBTQI bit again. Uh, I'm going to fling a hot potato at you. Mm -hmm. what, does, what does it mean anyway, LGBTQI? We're all saying it. Oh, the Q is the Q. <laughs> the I is which one again? So the, the Q is either queer or, from what I found out, questioning. Questioning? Yes. So the person is wondering. I think it feeds into the, the last one, the I, which is intersex and which one is it, it's intersex kind of, so these are people whose anatomy um their organs reproductive organs there's something with it that makes them feel they don't particularly fit into the box of male categorically or female categorically like how there's that case from way back in the courts in the uk before this became a thing where someone went and wanted to perform some surgery and all of that and they told him no you have gonads you have this you are a man you get it in this instance some people are maybe i don't know whether the term hermaphrodite might so someone with maybe two organs and thinking which one am i and so some of them fit into or place themselves so you're into that. So you question where am I? So there are que those I? questioning, there are the intersex. Uh, so this, the, excuse me, this that explanation intersex. for the was inter. That okay. is intersex. All right, cool. So it, it's, it's kind of complicated, right? I think this is something that we even need them to clarify. You know, there are those people who say, refer to me as they, instead of him or her and all of that. It, it's a complicated oh, that was, situation. In fact, somebody, and I'll look for it and share if I can. Somebody actually sends me one with, I think, about three eyes at the end. Yeah. So there are more uh, people that's, are that's, identifying that's, that's themselves. So we just keep going. And I don't know if there will be an end to this, but we just keep going. I think we can just add plus, then we do that. <laughs> but we're just complete. I think those who are adding on are simply just complicating the matters. Further complicating, I think. But they want to identify. No, they I mean, want to there's, be there's very, a, so me, I'm not it, this, I am that. I'm not that, I am this. It's, you know, there's the issue of gender where, you know, there, there are sometimes there are serious issues, okay? maybe more scientific, uh, where you have, have, with the organs you have, it's difficult to determine if you're male or female. Mm. You, you get it. I mean, those are issues that we've been dealing with already. Mm. I feel like we shouldn't mix it with this. This one, isn't this one, because that's my understanding, isn't this one more like, I'm a girl, but I like a girl, I don't like you. Or I'm not attracted to guys. Well, maybe that might fit into... That's the, where we the, came the, from, the, isn't it? The lesbian category. Yeah. I mean, we've always known about homosexual, you know, tendencies, under which lesbianism falls anyway, mm -hmm. because it's also a homosexual mm -hmm. thing. 
It's just that we, we tend to use that for men. And then all of these started coming out. So we've known of homosexuality under which we have lesbianism. And then all these offshoots, so to speak, yeah. have sprung up. And, and people keep identifying that I am this specifically. I, 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 I am binary. I am bisexual. I, I don't necessarily... Someone will say, I do guys. I do girls as well. I don't know which one... So you're not part of the group then? I mean... Mama V, I identify as a male. How do you identify? <laughs> I, I just need to know for the sake oh, of... Oh, ready. I, I need to clarify. How do you identify again? Okay, she's thinking about how she identifies. That, that makes me part of the group, right? Like, I should be there because I'm confused right now. The Ghanaian Times News... Hell no, I'm not. How could I? <laughs> Ongoing election petition. Supreme Court dismisses review motion. Hands another defeat to petitioner. Ban on Rosewood exports still in force. Lands Ministry saying that... I want to get into the story on page 17. Uh, Ghana's COVID-19 vaccine doses land this week. That's on page 16. Something else I want to get into. But page 17, again, more than half of Accra's residents don't wear nose masks. That's according to a Ghana Health Service surveillance report. You know, yesterday we were speaking to Maria, and she was very upset about the fact that you do everything yet someone insists on not doing the right things. And unfortunately, because the person is not doing the right things, he or she contracts the coronavirus. How do you sweat over someone eating you know, their pepper? But that is exactly what happens yeah. when people refuse to mask up. And look at the situation. You remember from that address by Mr. President, when we were looking at so many people, I think about what? 50, 60 plus percent of people not using the masks. Mm -hmm. If over half of the people in Accra are not donning face masks, obviously we have a long way to go. Was it about two weeks long ago on the law, um, Samsung and his guest, they were talking about advocating really, pushing for another way to address that situation of somebody knowing that I am positive or I've gone to do the test, but I am simply not isolating or I am not taking the precautions, even though I know that I have tested positive or I've got signs, I'm experiencing something and I'm supposed to stay away from the rest. They were pushing for that. So same way, if somebody doesn't wear a mask and the fine is that hefty, we kind of put the same kind of fine on the person who knows that they should stay away. And Samson has been championing decided, that because when, when you knowingly put other people at risk, it's kind of like something like HIV. You know you have it and you go transmitting it. There are consequences. Yeah. And it should be the same with the coronavirus. I you mean, do that. Shame, on, shame on all of us. I mean, those of us who know that we've tested positive or we're experiencing some of the symptoms we are supposed to go to a facility or talk to a medical personnel but we don't and we put other people at risk shame on all of us who have that kind of mentality it will come back and bite you that's the thing there's another angle to it there are some people who are asymptomatic they find out they have the virus but because they don't show any signs they continue going to yeah. work they continue going about their normal activities because they are not, and they are treating themselves. But what they don't realize is that within, within that period, they can infect other yeah. people. So according to uh, Dr. Kumar Baji, just briefly, uh, of the GHS, he says surveillance in the region, that is the greater Accra region by the service showed that 51% of residents do not wear the masks at all in the evening, 17% do not wear them correctly, and only 26% wear the masks correctly. So uh, very very worrying statistics there. On the back page of the Ghanaian Times, Savalugu Hospital closed down over increased COVID-19 cases among staff. This is becoming a problem. And one of these days, we're going to bring you more on that scoop. That's mm -hmm. it for the Ghanaian Times. News. All right, let's jump into the daily guide. On the front page of the paper, Mahama bounced 9-0, judgment set for March 4, LGBT Okay, where's the I daily guide? Apparently, there's a QI. They ended at LGBT, so no QI. Office shut down, religious bodies speak. Is it true that the office has been shut down? Like, this has gone back and forth. Well, that's what I've heard. And yesterday, yeah, I, was, I, I heard of the threat of an office being burnt, even. Oh, that's what that one did. And let's I think, not, no, let's not get those, into that the is issue going of beyond. Then, you don't burn a property. You will be arrested and you'll be prosecuted. 
yo go and Don't burn somebody's building people. that's that's violence nobody's preaching that but the controversial office of lesbians gays bisexual transgenders q and intersex individuals was yesterday shut down to the relief of anxious Ghanaians, most of who oppose homosexual practices in the country the shutdown comes on the heels of the national chief imam a uh, statement taking exception to the attempt by some Ghanaians to promote homosexual practice in the country, a condemnation having been shared by many groups and individuals, including the Catholic Bishops' Conference. Leading the charge on the office shutdown was uh, lawyer Moses Fuamweni, Executive Secretary of the National Coalition for Proper Human Sexual Rights and Family Values, whose role in the anti-LGBTQI crusade was acknowledged in the Catholic Bishop's statement. Okay, I thought I, thought I could get a, a more on the office, but I don't find it in the story. It continues on page 15, by the way, so perhaps we can all read on. Uh, but Dominic Ayeni docked for contempt. That story is also in the Daily Guide. And police track senior high school graduates over bullion van robbery 5 NAM. This is the Ashanti region issue. And there's uh, one person that the police is looking for, John Apia, a.k.a. Omega. He's the person the police is looking for right now. Who? Okay, so he's 22, senior high school graduate, said to be the gang leader in a robbery attack on a bullion van that led to the killing of a policeman at Adanse Nyankomasu recently. Identified as John Apia, nicknamed Omega. The police have described him as a very wicked and trigger happy and said the key suspect had recruited and formed several deadly robbery gangs in several parts of the country to engage in high scale robbery expeditions. Hmm. Wow, only 22. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I pray we get him uh, soon enough and then you know he can put up a defense and if he's really guilty of what is being alleged, then we, you know, we can punish him as such. Center spread. Actress Amma Ampo for Drax DeVito, others over copyright infringements. Uh, Duncan Williams celebrate his Wonder Woman in style. Hmm, that's Rosa. Okay. Killer of Nicki Minaj's father surrenders. Uh, there are other stories, but on the entertainment side, these are the headlines in the center spread of the paper. I guess that'll be it. Mm, some spot stories on the back page. All right, let's do the Daily Dispatch now. Homosexuals office shut down on Ecofuado's orders. And uh, tied to that, this government, and this is a quote, this government has no intention to legalize same-sex marriages in Ghana, uh, supposedly from Ecofuado in 2018 at the GEC Synod Conference. Uh -huh. So we are being reminded of what Mr. President uh, Oh, Mr. Said. President said that categorically, yeah. right? That's what that's okay. what the paper says right here at the GEC Senate conference. I oh, guess back in 2018. 2018. Okay. You know, okay. this would be after that interview that brought. Oh, that's there. good. It's okay. Bound to we have things. a duty to you know, look yesterday for you that. were talking about. Yes. He should come out and, yes. and say something. We have a duty to pull that so that we can all remind ourselves what our leader, our president, has said with regards to this matter. But now more than ever, that's important fire, to me. This fire has surged once more. Do we need him to reiterate anything? Do you think, or does this suffice? That look, he said it back then. It's it's that's a stance. Oh, all, yeah, yeah, we were yeah. asking the gender minister and others, even the attorney general designate, that what is your thinking on this? Do we need to find out from Mr. President what his thinking is currently? Mm. Well, there are quotes in the law. We know what is in the criminal code. I, I, I don't think that's really our business right now because it's there. So um, I'm not sure if him talking again, but I, this one works for me if I can get no, I'm just there. asking because on the if back of what it. you said. Yes, yes, yes. Whether yes. he should. That's why I said this works for me. I'm just it going to look for, for it so I can play it back and everybody can hear what right. our president has said. Right. Yeah. 60 persons dead in road accidents in 44 days in the eastern region. Oh, God. 60 in 44. That's the statistic. Stay alive, yeah? Mm, drive cautiously. Some hair creams can cause fibroids and infertility. And I'm just going to take a sneak peek at this on page two. Uh, someone we know, Professor Ajiman Bedukosa, a cellular pathologist and uh, pathologist and lifestyle wellness consultant. He has been saying African women and women of African descent who use hair straightening creams and lotions on their hair stand a higher risk of developing fibroid and cancers of the female genital tract, which can lead to infertility. 
He talks about the endocrine system and how these chemicals disrupt the endocrine, uh, the female endocrine system, including hormones, estrogen, projections, and follicles. In summary, that's it. You can check out the details from mm. there. But I'm just thinking, so could it be that a lot of our friends, sisters, parents, and the rest who Girlfriends. tend to... Uh, uh, excuse me? Uh, you're listing. Yeah. And I was just adding. Girlfriends. Yeah, you said yeah, friends, Yeah, my friends sisters. who are girls are my girlfriends. Oh, police. Anyway, so... All of these, because I, I know, interestingly, I know a number of people who have had issues with fibroid. Mm. Some who have required surgery and, and all of that. So I'm beginning to ask myself, I'm now thinking, okay, yeah, she has her hair permed, right? It's always could this it, or that. Could it could, be related? Could it be related? We need to be doing research here in our country, things related to us, because usually, often, we will pick studies done elsewhere. Uh, but, I mean, I'm not worried about the studies, if it is true or not. <laughs> if it's because, you know, I, I, don't, I don't straighten my hair. So, no thank you. Yeah, I know. I mean, you don't, <laughs> you don't have that situation. But have you ever, I mean, in your adult Oh, yeah, life, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I used to mess with my hair a lot. So, yes, right. I've done everything. <laughs> Honestly, I think if I were, this is just my preference. I would do natural hair. Maybe even... Let me give me to me. It's down, easy. down, be sad. It's easy to say. And then I would. But it, I hear it depends on the head as well. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Sometimes, some people just simply get bored with the one, um, one, one style. Like, yeah, one look. So maybe I can say. do that. At some point, maybe lock it. But anything natural. Like, anything in the spectrum of natural. Yeah. Natural I've seen style. people who have locked, you know, and it, it's grown, looked really beautiful. And they say, I'm just fed up with it. I mean, I can't keep this one... Hairstyle, so and they cut it off and they do something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 87 percent of Ghanaians against homosexuals office in Ghana. That's according to a survey on the back page. We don't want to open Pandora's box, Chief Justice, on dismissal of Muhammad's application. That's another interesting bit that came up yesterday because they were saying, look, you may have your emotions and everything, but if we take certain steps, it sets a precedent for all the courts under us to follow, and that could be virtually opening up a Pandora's box so uh, you can check out some details of that somebody said this is a very conservative i actually get a lot of messages uh, very conservative panel panel exactly and i got this this thoughts was shared weeks ago based on something the court had done and yesterday the person reminded me of the message that he has sent and i said oh yes 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 i remember because he was also minded i think his his point was this court will be careful what they do because the lower courts would have we'll to have. learn from what, what, what it does. And so he was of the view that they would not. And true, true, true. All the reviews. I think it's Chachu at a point who mentioned Lord Denning, the yeah. ever famous Lord Denning. <laughs> and that we know Denning not so much for going by the law, but in many instances, challenging what the law was, setting new authorities, and so to speak, changing the law for the better. Because the law must reflect the people and their aspirations. Our constitution says that, you know. So, um, and we have said as that much as they have said the constitution grows, right? So exactly. you've got to grow with the time. As much as being people. conservative is good, you'd wonder when at some point they would also be malleable and want to, I mean, I'm watching my words here. I don't want to come. But this is, not, a, this is not just any kind of interpretation kind of issue. Yeah. So this yeah. is more. You're done? Yes, yes. All right, let's do the Business and Financial Times. Oh, this will be my last paper. MPs fear baby selling syndicate could derail maternity mortality. Benin's disregard for ECOWAS protocols hurts local firms. Yes, a worrying one. Another worrying one because the baby selling is also very worrying. Uh, so while the appointment of an African as the Director General of the World Trade Organization is inspiring and positive for the continent, there should be no expectation that the decision can bring any effects on the African Continental Trade uh, Free Trade Area Agreements. Mm, that's a, a, an international trade law consultant uh, who stole the Business and Financial Times. Yeah, it is true. I think I agree with you. Often when we see somebody we can re easily relate to picked to an office like that, the expectation is that it will change us. Uh, but he's reminding us this is more than that. It's not yes, going to. Yes, same expectations <laughs> with Obama. Yes. That, oh, everything, yeah, Africa yeah, yeah. is going to. <laughs> oh, Bwakra. <laughs>
I will wrap up with the finder and I'll just do this bit here. Uh, just pick and choose on, on pages 12 and 13. COVID-19 vaccines, safety, side effects and coincidence. You can check out the story. But for example, it talks about Moderna, the vaccine and how uh, potent it is. It's 94 percent effective. AstraZeneca, what we are getting uh, for, you know, the Indian one, 70 percent effective. Johnson and Johnson, 66 percent effective. You want the details, grab a copy of the final newspaper. And on page 13, good news. The EU has doubled its contribution to the COVAX program, 1 billion euros. So at least that means a lot more. Well, not specifically. It's been... Oh, Africa. You know it's broad. Oh, the so, okay, COVAX exactly, show. To COVAX, right. so generally. Uh, that's going to be more vaccines for more uh, countries that might not ordinarily have access to them. So Ishmael Yamsen says we should be looking at our own resources uh, and not so heavily rely on donors for the vaccines. You see, it's a great danger. <laughs> because someday when something happens, you know there was a point when China was... Um, Hoarding, so to speak, N95 masks. Mm. They are, I think they produce half of what the world consumes. And at, in the dead heat earlier last year, when the thing was ravaging the entire world, yes, they will protect their own country. And it makes sense, perfect sense on the international level. But you, who are not producing any, what happens to you? Mm. Well, okay, I think we, we can just do much online before we wrap up. Can we, uh, so that we can see what the, our page is reporting today. Uh, but coming up, sports, satellites, uh, they continue to make us proud. Should they be our black stars? Well, they are my black stars. No, satellites are satellites. <laughs> Let's leave our stars alone. On election petition, Supreme Court's eight unanimous decisions against Mahama's lawyers. You can catch up, remind yourself where we've come from. That's uh, the Chief Justice. <sighs> okay. So um, I'm saying I'm sorry for calling you a thief. Osu Bempa apologizes to Ibrahim Muhammad. That one has come into the picture. Yes. In in recent times, and there's uh, somebody says I'm gay. Uh, Fear forced me to deny it. A Ghanaian journalist comes out on live television. But but speaking of which, that bit about uh, lawyer Fua Morning, you know, he, he's been coming out with. Names and say not names, not mentioning names, but he says he knows journalists who are in, in the LGBT thing, uh, is a member of parliament, ministers and stuff, and he's he's basically threatening to name and shame. <laughs> oh. I do. Well. Anyway. You know, this is the point where Mama V is still ruminating. She's still thinking about what she, what she will say on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, have... yeah. yeah. I, I, there's something I want to say. Oh, we have a full conversation on this LGBTQI. Uh, Should I, 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 I plus? <laughs> plus, plus. A bit later on, but, you know, we're more focused on what, what, what we should be doing, okay? When it's not what more should we do? And we're talking to persons who often have interactions with the president at the presidency level. So what is our direction? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. What's, the, what's our direction? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is, there is, is there enough activism? Is that the word? Yeah. Is it bound to happen? <laughs> Sports is no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Show. Ben, there's a question I want to ask you. I'm going to ask you today. Think about it. Would you take the jab? Would the you vaccine? take the jab? Oh, yes. if it were here, I'll take it right here. Oh, you've answered. I wanted you to think about it, but you've answered. Oh. You know, there are people who say they want to see known people take it publicly. Please, I'm definitely, to boost I, I, I'm their definitely confidence. taking this jab. Nice, yeah. nice. Uh, I'm, I'm All right, it. stay with us. We've got sports and the rest of the conversations yeah. will follow. The sports is bound to happen. It's up next. <laughs>